All right, just gonna do a quick video showing some very interesting scriptures on the Godhead in the book of Isaiah. Because there's so many verses you can go to in the Old Testament that actually prove the biblical Godhead. You know, it's it's very amazing when you really uh, study the issue, but I'm gonna go through the scriptures. Uh, I got about 10 different scriptures showing the Godhead in the book of Isaiah alone. There's many others I can go to, but these are just from the book of Isaiah. First, Isaiah chapter six, verse eight says, also I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send, and who will go for us? Then said I, Here am I, send me. Notice the plural pronoun of us, when God uses that to refer to himself. You know, compare that with Genesis chapter 1 verse 26. You know, let us make man in our image. Showing a plurality in the Godhead. Uh, Isaiah chapter 44 and verse 6. Isaiah 44, 6. Thus saith the Lord, the King of Israel, and his Redeemer, the Lord of hosts, I am the first, and I am the last, and beside me there is no God. Interesting thing about this verse is that notice how, thus saith the Lord, King of Israel, and his Redeemer, the Lord of hosts, we see the plurality there, but notice they use the singular wording of I am, and you know, I am the last, I am the first. Why? Because there's one God. God is one person, you know. Hence why he doesn't, he doesn't say, you know, we are the first or we are the last. No, because God is one person who is three members. The you know, Father, Son, Holy Ghost, body, soul, and spirit. So an interesting verse on that. Isaiah chapter 41, verse 14. Isaiah 41, verse 14. Fear not, thou worm Jacob, and ye men of Israel. I will help thee, saith the Lord, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. Again, we see that plurality there in the Godhead. Isaiah chapter 48, verse 16. Isaiah 48, verse 16. Uh, Come ye near unto me, hear ye this. I have not spoken in secret from the beginning. Uh, for the time that it was, there I there am I. And now the, Lord, now the Lord God and his Spirit hath sent me. Right there is the Holy Spirit, the Lord God and his Spirit. The Holy Ghost is, in fact, the Spirit of the Godhead. He's the Spirit of God. Okay. Isaiah chapter 49, verse 7. Isaiah 49, 7. Thus saith the Lord, the Redeemer of Israel, and his Holy One, to him whom man despiseth, to him, to him whom the nation abhorreth, to a servant of rulers, kings shall see and arise, princes shall also shall worship, because of the Lord that is faithful, and the Holy One of Israel, and he shall choose thee. You know, and again, you look at the, the following six first verses of the prophecy about Jesus Christ. So this is God the Father talking about his son, Jesus Christ. Uh, Isaiah chapter 54 and verse 5. says, For thy maker is thine husband, the Lord of hosts is his name, and thy redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, the God of the whole earth, shall he be called. Again, we see the singular wording, the singular pronouns being used among the plurality of the Godhead. Because it still shows they're just one person. You know, three are three that bear record in heaven. These three are one. First John 5, 7. It doesn't say these three persons are one. It just says these three are one. Isaiah chapter 59, verse 19 to 20. Isaiah 59, verse 19 to 20. Uh, for, uh, for, sorry, so, sh so shall they fear the name of the Lord of, from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun when the enemy shall come in like a flood uh, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him, and the Redeemer shall come to Zion, and unto them that turn from transgression in Jacob, saith the Lord. So again, we see the members of the Godhead, the Lord, and then his spirit. The spirit of the Lord would lift up a standard against him. Again, we see this plurality, uh, and the Godhead also interacting and working with each other, working together. Uh, Isaiah chapter 60, verse 16. Thou shalt also suck the milk of the Gentiles, and shalt suck the breasts of the kings. And thou shalt know that I am the Lord, I the Lord, and thy Savior, and thy Redeemer, the Mighty One of Jacob. So we see the and in there, again showing the plurality of the Godhead. Isaiah chapter 63, verse 7 to 11. Says, I will mention the, the loving kindness of the Lord, and the praises of the Lord according to all that the Lord hath bestowed on us. And the great goodness towards the house of Israel, which he hath bestowed on them according to his mercies and according to the multitude of his loving kindness. For he said, surely they are my people, my children that will not lie. Uh, so he was their savior. In all their affliction, he was, he was afflicted and the angel of his presence saved them in his love and in, and in his pity. 
He redeemed them, he bare them, and carried them all the days of old. But they rebelled and vexed his Holy Spirit. Therefore he, would, he turned to be their enemy, and he fought against them. Fought against them, sorry. Then he remembered the days of old Mo, days of old Moses and his people, saying, Where is he that brought them up of the, brought them up out of the sea, sorry, with a shepherd of his flock? Where is he that put his Holy Spirit within him? So God putting his Holy Spirit, because again we see that that you know distinction the Godhead, and you compare this with Isaiah forty two, where God puts his whole you know, he put his Holy Spirit upon Jesus Christ. You know, paraphrasing of course. And again, I'm not the best at reading things on a computer screen, so just you know, bear with me. Now also we got Isaiah chapter sixty one, verse one, the last verse I'm gonna to go to. Isaiah sixty one verse one. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings, to preach the good tidings unto the meek. He has sent he has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison to them that are bound. So the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. You know, and this is also again you can see a for a foreshadowing of Jesus Christ. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Why? Because the three members of the Godhead, they can interact and they can work together because there is the distinction, but also they are one one being, the one person. It's that simple. So I just want to show you that ten interesting scriptures in the book of Isaiah on the biblical Godhead. So just want to show you guys that. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.